The first of many downpours already overwhelming roads with water this Memorial Day. This is video our crews captured on Brambleton and Roswell Avenues in Norfolk. Looking live now at our sky view at the Chamberlain Hotel in Hampton. You can see those raindrops covering our camera. A familiar sight today, and it's because of the mess you see right there on the radar. Yeah, quite the eyesore, and unfortunately, Evan, this is just the beginning. That's right. We are on the eastern side and the northeastern side of subtropical storm Alberta, which just came ashore along the Florida panhandle and this rain indirectly from it. But the main story is some of this tropical moisture working its way off from the south and we're looking at several days of rain, probably not overspreading the radar in the region like we're seeing right now. There'll be more hit and miss over the coming days. But again, we have seen that rain just overspread the area as we have gone through the afternoon with some more of that moderate rain down across areas of North Carolina around the Albemarle Sound. Light to moderate rain south side peninsula middle peninsula over towards the eastern shore steadier rain across eastern North Carolina and some of that heavier rain indicated here by the yellows showing up as everything is slowly working its way off towards the northeast that main batch of low of rain is continuing off towards the south and will eventually work its way up the eastern seaboard cloudy skies as we look over downtown Norfolk we've got the raindrop showing up on the camera lens temperature of 73 degrees and a southerly wind at 11 miles per hour and everybody pretty much in the 70s with a few 60s along the eastern shore and the outer bank so if you have evening plans we're looking at the showers continuing for the next several hours could be heavy at times as well here's updated forecast from futurecast in the low 70s as we go through much of the evening and notice 80, 90, 100% chance of rain right through 11 o'clock. Could even be an isolated rumble of thunder. Now, when I come back, I'll talk more about our chances for rain over the coming days. Have the latest on Tropical Storm Alberto, which came ashore about an hour and a half ago across the Florida Panhandle, and have that seven-day outlook. That's all in a few minutes. A normally bustling oceanfront empty right now. Rain sending people scattering for cover. 13 News Now reporter Allie Weatherton has been out in the elements all day and Ali, what are people saying? Well, Janet, this is definitely not a beach day for me. I have to have the sun out so I can tan, but I want to show you these troopers. They have been out here in that tent all day just having fun. Their kids were running in and out of the water. This lady right here has actually been holding that umbrella all day, just following her son around and people say they don't care if it's raining. They're just here to have fun. The rain isn't stopping these guys cross, cross. from having a little fun. Oh my God. Today is just like really gloomy and dark. <laughs> from Richmond all right, all right. I need the ball, to Virginia Beach. Hey, Eddie. Just came here for, for Monday. They thought the weather was going to hold off. You could see kind of like that there was rain involved, but as we were coming here, it got pushed back more. Like it said it was supposed to start raining at 12, and then it went to 2 and then 3. So it, it suits us. They were wrong. Just all rain practically the whole day. It's pretty disappointing. Memorial Day is the unofficial start of summer, but it didn't seem like it today. The rain forced several people off the beach and back into their hotel rooms. We planned to get wet in the ocean, but now we're getting rained on, so we're getting wet either way. It's right here. These soccer players say they're happy. <laughs> put that in, put that in. To be here. Hey, Eddie, Eddie. Rain or shine. Now, I also have seen a lot of people riding their bikes. They have their ponchos on, they're holding umbrellas. I've seen a lot of kids running in the puddles, just having a good time. They say they're just here to have fun. Live at the oceanfront, Allie Weatherton, 13 News Now. All right, thank you, Allie. While Memorial Day observations took place at Arlington National Cemetery, the Berkeley community gathered for its own remembrance in Norfolk. 13 News Now reporter Megan Shen was at Mount Olive Cemetery. And Megan, more than 100 service members are buried there. Stephen, that's correct. Organizers tell me they don't know exactly how many military members are laid to rest at the All African American Cemetery. Back when Memorial Day was called Decoration Day, cemeteries, including Mount Olive, were segregated. Well, even a person's military service couldn't overcome that separation. Now many people in the community are rallying around the cemetery, which often was neglected. At Mount Olive in Norfolk, a cemetery comes to life as people gather to honor those who lost theirs. Here we are today 
and I say again, we stand on sacred ground. Monday, drummers and members of the Berkeley community remembered military members who died while they served. Berkeley Historical Society President Ann Boone says this graveyard, where many of them are buried, often was overlooked. But we recognize it because these are our family members, our loved ones, and our veterans serve just like everybody else. A city employee says the cemetery is private property and no one really knows who owns the land. Sheriff Joseph Barron helped clean up around the graves while he was at the ceremony. Uh, it's an opportunity to let the community know that we care about them. A couple of years back, the people were dumping trash and everything. American Legion Post 5 board members laid wreaths on the ground. It makes me feel good and I just hope that is one day when I'm gone, some other veterans will pick it up and keep the tradition going. I was born in 1889 and passed in 1957. For relatives of people buried here, her grandmother was one of Thomas Jefferson's slaves. It's important to take this day to remember our nation's fallen heroes, whether or not your family has military ties. Not just Memorial Day, but always. Come out, clean a grave off, put down a flag. And Boone says members of the organization reached out to the Veterans Administration to get a monument identifying the veterans out there. We'll let you know if those plans come together. In the studio, Megan Shen, 13 News Now. People in Newport News are participating in Memorial Day activities at the Victory Arch. The annual ceremony there is sponsored by American Legion Braxton Perkins, post number 25. Volunteers prepare for the event on Friday by putting flags out at the National Cemetery in Hampton and at three other cemeteries where fallen service members rest. You know, without everyone and without all the sacrifices that, are, that have paid from everyone, we would be nothing as far as the country that we are today. The arch was built in 1919 and reconstructed in 1962. On Memorial Day in 1969, an eternal flame was added. The arch serves as a memorial with the eternal flame continually burning for all the men and women of the armed forces. Virginia Senator Tim Kaine spends his Memorial Day in Hampton Roads. The Democratic Senator took to Twitter, you see it here, to share these photos from the 134th Annual Memorial Day Parade in Portsmouth. Now take a closer look. Kaine walked the parade route out handing out small American flags to spectators there. And here's another photo, he even stopped to take selfies with some people out there honoring our fallen service members. Now, Kane is out on the campaign trail right now. Next month, three candidates are competing in the Republican primary for the nomination to run in November against Kane. He is unopposed in the primary.